If you are watching this video, you are most likely familiar with the chat completion process using large language models, and in particular, the OpenAI LLMs. In other words, the process we use to create a chatbot to conversationally query our data. You probably also know that the first step in that process is the ingestion phase, where we take our document, usually a PDF file, and convert it to a text file. If that text file happens to be too large to fit into the context window of our large language model, then we have to chop it into smaller chunks. So the next question is, what is the best way to chunk our data? There are a lot of Python scripts available which will chunk your text files by sentence, paragraph, size, and other factors. In looking at what was currently available, I decided to create my own methodology. I call this methodology semantic chunking. I am working with large PDF documents that I wish to embed in order to be able to use them as context for chat completions. By embed, I mean upsert to a vector store, which I will query to retrieve context documents for my chat completion calls to the LLM. Uh, the problem here, of course, is that most large language models have a limit to their context windows. That is, the total size of text that you can submit in one prompt or query. The current limit for OpenAI's GPT-3-5 Turbo model is 4,096 tokens. The limit for GPT-4 is 8,000 tokens, which is about 16 pages, soon to be expanded to 32,000 tokens, which is about 50 pages of text. This is all in, in fine and well and good, but the cost of GPT 48K is six cents per 1,000 tokens, and the estimated cost of GPT 4, uh, the GPT 432K, is 12 cents per 1,000 tokens. When you're executing queries on 10, 20, 30 page documents at a time, this is going to get pretty expensive pretty fast. So, I am currently planning to work with GPT-3.5-Turbo 3, uh, 3, 3 Turbo for my chat completion project for the foreseeable future. As I said, this model's token limit is 4,096 tokens, which is about uh, only 8 pages. But the cost per 1,000 tokens is 0 .002 cents. I can live with that. But how do I work around that eight page limit when my documents are 20, 30, 100, or even in one case, 700 pages long? Most of the documents I am working with, legal contracts and agreements, regulatory code, policy manuals, research papers, and even some news articles and blog posts, they all have an organizational structure. Uh, for example, a common regulatory code structure I see a lot is as follows. Title, division, part, chapter, article, section. A news article or a blog post may be broken down into title, or that's the main topic, and subtopics. Um, a legal agreement might have this breakdown, chapter, subchapter, articles. The point, uh, the point being that there is usually some sort of hierarchy or structure to the information presented in each document. And usually, this is a grouping of uh, semantically similar ideas. I call this the semantic schema of the document. So, my goal in chunking is to break a document down into its basic semantic ideas as represented in its semantic hierarchy. And I refer to this 
as semantic chunking. I want to put together a uh, question and answer knowledge base of California real estate law. This would be designed as a sort of tutor for people studying to take the California real estate exam, an advisor assistant to existing realtors and brokers, and a research assistant for legal experts in the field. All the documents I require can be found on the California Department of Real Estate website. You click on Complete List of Publications, then scroll down to Licensee uh, Examinee Publications. I am uh, particularly interested in the Real Estate Law Book and the Reference, um, I'm sorry, the Real Estate Law Book and the Reference Book uh, Real Estate Guide. If you click on the Reference Book link, it will take you to the page which lists the introduction and uh, 27 PDF chapters that uh, make up the book. Um, if I take a look at uh, the first chapter, the Department of uh, the California Department of Real Estate, um, you can see that it is broken down into several uh, subchapters. Uh, government regulations of brokerage transactions and we come on down here and we see original real estate brokers license and continue on down corporate real estate license and let's go down a little bit further original salesperson license and it just it goes on like this. So um, I have written code that uh, breaks each chapter down by subchapter chunks. And uh, it places a header in uh, each of these uh, uh, subchapters that uh, has a, a citation link to the uh, actual uh, subchapter, as you can see here. Um, it uh, also has a link to the chapter itself, which uh, I just refer them back to the PDF on the uh, uh, California Department of Real Estate site. Um, it uh, then lists the hierarchy of the uh, where the subchapter uh, belongs. So, for example, this is uh, uh, part of the reference book, and this happens to be chapter one and this is the uh, subchapter title government regulation of brokerage transactions <clears throat> and as you can see here right I just continue to do this for each of the uh, subchapters that belong in this particular chapter in most cases each of these chunks will meet my chunk size requirements However, in the case of chunk text that exceed the character limit I have set, I then chunk the chunk, making sure to include the same header in each subchunk, if you will. I found that adding this header helps to maintain a contextual link between chunks of the same document. In order to achieve this level of semantic chunking, you will need to 1. Determine the semantic hierarchy of your document. 2. Determine the base semantic element you wish to serve as your chunk. In other words, chapter, article, section, subchapter, etc. 3. Export your document to the plain text format. 4. Implement code that chunks the text according to your specifications. Needless to say, the most difficult part of this is step four. It is going to require some knowledge of text parsing. Uh, back in the 1990s, I used to write Perl scripts to semantically mark up regulatory text documents for processing as folio infobases. Uh, that was an early 
uh, precursor to today's search and retrieve uh, knowledge base. So for me, this is just old times. Um, if you currently know how to code and use regular expressions, then you know what to do. If you know how to code but, are, but um, aren't familiar with regular expressions, ask ChatGPT Chat Codex how to generate code to break the document down as we have uh, discussed here. If you don't know how to code, then you need to search and see if there is already existing code to do what you need or find someone to do it for you or learn how to do it yourself. In your case, chunking by sentence or paragraph or even size may make the most sense. In my use case, chunking according to the semantic schema of the document is the best approach. There are other approaches, of course, and code that already exists to implement them. My goal here was to simply offer an alternative that I've not seen suggested elsewhere that is currently working for me. Whatever you choose, I wish you the best. For me, this is one of the most exciting journeys I have ever been on in my life.